So in this video, I'm going to show how to use white noise with Flask. I'm also going to configure the Amazon CloudFront CDN to get the best possible performance from your web application. So assuming you have a Flask project set up that uses the application factory pattern, you can configure white noise like so. So you'll first want to import white noise, and then you can create a new instance of white noise, passing in an absolute path to the static file directory, a prefix for all static URLs, and a max age, which is the length of time in seconds that browsers and proxies should cache the static files for. So you can see that if debug mode is on, we'll, the max age will be zero. If debug mode is off, so if we're in production, the max age is this many seconds, which is equal to a year. And so I've also gone ahead and created a compress.py script. And so this will remove any files from the static files directory, and then it'll iterate through the files in the static directory. So you can see the bootstrap.css file, as well as the test.png file there. So it'll loop through that, compress them, and then save the compressed uh, versions to the static files directory along with the original uncompressed version. And so if I go ahead and run that, the static file directory should now be populated, which you can see here, bootstrap.css, the gzip version. And it didn't add, didn't create the gzip version of the um, image because it's included in this, um, the extension is included in the skip compress extensions list. So with everything set up and our static files configured, we can go ahead and test this out now. So I'm gonna fire up gunicorn. So this is listening on localhost 5000. And so to test out white noise, noises gzip functionality, run um, this curl command here. Take note of the accept encoding gzip header. And you can see that we've got a 200 and the content encoding is gzip. So if we do leave off the accept encoding header, you can see that the regular version of bootstrap.css was served up. So that's it for setting up white noise. So now we can turn our attention to CloudFront. So on the CloudFront dashboard, I'm gonna click Create Distribution, and then I'm gonna choose Get Started under the web section. And so now you'll wanna go ahead and add your domain name uh, without HTTP or HTTPS in the origin domain, domain name field right here. And then you'll wanna leave the uh, remaining defaults. So since I'm just testing this locally, I'm gonna go ahead and use ngrok to expose my Gunicorn server that again is running on localhost 5000 to the internet. So run ngrok, HTTP 5000. And so then this will give me a domain name here and I can use this domain name here now. We go ahead and click Create Distribution. And so this will take about 15 minutes to fully set up because it's got to distribute all of this out to all of the edge nodes. But you can actually start testing while the status is still in progress. It will probably take about five minutes uh, for this to be set up to the point where you can actually test it out though. Okay, so when you are ready to test, go ahead and grab the uh, domain name here. And we can use that same curl command. So I'm getting a 200 okay. It is being hit from CloudFront. And then uh, where's the, and the content encoding, um, you can see it's gzip. And so we can use that same URL back in our Flask app for handling static file requests. So I'm just gonna grab the first part of the URL here and back to my Flask app, uh, replace the old one here. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and restart uh, Gunicorn. Then I've got a uh, route handler here for uh, the high endpoint. This is gonna serve up an index.html file. And you can see in the actual index.html file, I'm using the static underscore URL. And so that is a template global. And so this can be used instead of the, um, the Flask helper URL for. So hopping back here, if I go to localhost 5000, forward slash high. So it looks like it's serving up that bootstrap.css uh, file correctly. So then let's just check 
the network tab here. Let me refresh this. And you can see here that the request URL is hitting uh, CloudFront. You can see the uh, max age under cache control and the gzip version is being served up. And so finally, we can go ahead and test this out on the uh, web page test, and that'll uh, ensure that our static files are compressed and cached correctly. So let me grab that ingrok URL again. Now if I go to forward slash high, so this will probably take a few minutes to test. And so you can see that we got a A for the uh, compressed transfer as well as for the caching and um, that is using a CDN. So that's all I have for this video. For more, be sure to check out the accompanying blog post on testdriven.io.